take a moment to read the question. So we have been given the equations of two circles C1 and C2 and K here is a constant. It is given that C1 and C2 have exactly two common tangents. We have to find out the possible values of K. How do we do this question? Well, first of all, let us write down the equation of the first circle. So for this circle, the center would be at the point 2 comma 2. Let us also find out its radius. So the radius would be given by this number, which is equal to the square root of 2. Let us write down the equation of the second circle. The center for this circle would be at the point 5 comma 5 and its radius would be equal to the square root of 25 plus 25 minus k which is equal to the square root of 50 minus k. Now the radius of the second circle is in terms of k. Let us also find out the distance between the two centers. So by the distance formula c1 c2 is equal to this expression which simplifies to this and this is equal to 3 times the square root of 2. Let us now draw the first circle. So we get this. The second circle can be also drawn. Let us join their two centers. So we get this line segment. Now the length of C1, C2 is equal to 3 root 2. So let's mark that. The radius of circle C1 is equal to the square root of 2. So let's mark that. The diameter of the first circle C1 would be equal to 2 root 2. So let's extend that line segment and mark another square root of 2 on that. Now the distance between the center of circle C2 and the nearest point on C1 is equal to 2 root 2. So let's mark that. The distance between the center of C2 and the farthest point of circle C1 is equal to 4 root 2. So let's mark that. Now how many common tangents are there under the given condition? So we have two direct tangents and also two transverse tangents. For the circles to have exactly two common tangents, they must intersect. So circle C2 can expand to intersect with circle C1 like this. Under this condition, the radius of circle C2 would be greater than 2 times the square root of 2. So let's write that. Now circle C2 can expand further and still intersect with C1. So we have this condition. Under this condition, clearly the radius of circle C2 would be less than 4 root 2. So let's write that down. Now we have this inequality. It's very clear that K must be less than 50. Now the three terms in this inequality are all positive. So we can square them and we find that we have 8 is less than 50 minus k which is less than 32. Let us subtract 50 from the three terms in this inequality to get this. Now changing the sign of all the terms we find that k is between 18 and 42 and we can write down this inequality in this form. Therefore the correct answer is option B.